Forget takeout, save money. Make this simple and delicious stir fry at home. This is black bean beef. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, Duda's Panda Camera. I'm all about simple food, simple faith. Dining out, getting takeout, it's all so expensive these days. And so we are trying harder to make more and more simple recipes at home that we can share with you guys. This dish is probably about 20 to $25 if you order it out and you're not going to get nearly as much as we're making today. You can find this recipe on the blog flowlum.com. Starting with a pound of flat iron steak, I bought flat iron because that was the cheapest one I could find today. You can use flank or any tender steak that you like. I'm gonna cut this into thirds first before I start slicing it into thinner slices. Flat iron steak has some sinew in it, but I'm hoping that it'll be fine in this dish. All right, I actually was able to remove the sinew. So there's quite a bit of it actually. I don't know how anyone can chew through that. But anyways, I removed it. We're gonna marinate the beef with two teaspoons of soy sauce and two teaspoons of rice wine. And this is cooking rice wine. You can use Shaoxing wine if you like, which is also a cooking rice wine. It just has a slightly different flavor. And if you don't have rice wine, you can just use another couple of teaspoons of soy sauce, or we've been known to use bourbon in the past. You can use sherry. This just, you need a little bit of something to just give it that added flavor. But again, soy sauce will work just fine. And two teaspoons of cornstarch. Give that a quick stir. It doesn't have to be all dissolved because when you put the meat in, it will help with the dissolving. A pound of meat gives you quite a lot and you are not going to get this amount of meat in a restaurant. So this steak cost me $12. Just give this a good stir. Make sure that marinade gets everywhere. Okay, we're gonna set this aside to prepare the rest of the ingredients. We're using onion and bell peppers for the veggies in our stir fry. I'm gonna cut the onion from top to bottom. I just find that it holds its shape better than when you cut it cross, across instead. And since the bell pepper is going to be cut in the same shape, it just adds to a similar mouthfeel. I'm using two bell peppers today, one red, one yellow. You can use whatever colors you like. I'm just going for a colorful presentation, but I also like red peppers better than green peppers. I don't know about you, dude. Oh, I don't. I'm an equal opportunity bell pepper eater. <laughs> and if you don't like bell peppers, you can use other vegetables as well. You can use broccoli or cauliflower instead. Asparagus, green beans. So much freedom flow. Whatever strikes your fancy. I have two enormous cloves of garlic. These are actually grown in my garden, surprise, surprise. So I would use probably three to four cloves of regular store-bought garlic. Oh, they're pretty big. They're so big, it's almost like a whole bulb. Just cut off these hard ends. The one thing I grew. I just want to chop this up finely. 
All right, this is a lot of garlic, guys, but if you don't want to use as much garlic, you don't have to. And if you really love garlic, use more. <laughs> I'm using a tablespoon of fermented black beans, and I've already given this a rinse. They come in a package or they come in different containers as well. But this bag was $1.19, guys, and it packs so much flavor. You can just use a little bit and it goes a really long way. When you purchase these, you'll want to make sure you read the ingredients. So the one I bought is just black beans and salt. That's it. No other additives. So this is the, well, just make sure that you read the ingredients before you buy it. Right, I'm gonna chop these up because I don't actually like biting into big pieces of black bean. I know sometimes restaurants, they just throw it in there and then it's just kind of like, oh, there's some black beans in my dish. But when you chop it up, the flavor actually goes all over and then you're not biting into these like little bits of salty black bean. And I rinse them because I want to rinse off any excess salt that may be on the beans. And if you don't want to do this all the time, you can always make my black bean sauce in, and keep it in the fridge. And then you don't have to do this part every single time you want to make black bean dish. I'm adding the black beans back to the bowl along with the garlic. It's all going into the wok at the same time. I'm also using a small piece of ginger. I'm gonna grate into uh, the dish with the black bean and the garlic. I like to use a grater because I can't chop up the ginger fine enough. And it's about a tablespoon of ginger. And if you don't want ginger, you don't have to add it. it just adds a little bit more flavor and a little bit of spiciness. Now we're gonna prepare the sauce. I have two teaspoons of sugar. You can use regular sugar, brown sugar, whatever you like. Adding a tablespoon of dark soy sauce. And if you don't have dark soy sauce, you can always just add regular soy sauce. Dark soy sauce gives it a darker color. And a tablespoon of rice wine. A tablespoon of oyster sauce. and about two teaspoons of sesame oil. Okay, give this a stir, making sure that sugar is dissolved. And now that we have all of our ingredients ready to go, the cooking part of it goes by really fast. Heating up my wok on a medium high. And if you don't have a wok, you can use a large frying pan or a large saute pan. As soon as you see that wisp of smoke, add your oil. I'm using about a tablespoon of avocado oil. Just swirl. You can use vegetable oil or canola oil. I'm gonna do about half the beef. Just gonna spread it out and let it sear on one side before moving it around. If you get a nice sear on one side, start moving it around. And this will give you that smoky flavor that you get in the restaurant. It's not really easy to achieve at home because we can't get our wok that high in temperature to give that smoky taste, but it gets pretty close. When it's about 80% cooked, we'll remove it into a clean bowl and get the next batch going. Removing that second batch. Add more oil if you need. If not, just add your onions. I like my onions to be a little bit more cooked, so I'm adding them at the beginning. Okay, moving my onions off to the side a little bit. I'm gonna add my black bean, garlic, and ginger. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. 
Oh, a lot of nice fragrance there. Yeah, this is, I'm gonna cook this for about 30 seconds until you start to smell the fragrance of the ingredients. I'm gonna add our bell peppers and cook this for about a minute or two until the peppers are tender or until you get it to the texture that you like. I'm pushing the veggies off to the side a little bit. I'm gonna pour in our sauce right in the middle there. Okay, then quickly make a slurry. Two teaspoons of cornstarch. And about a tablespoon of water. It has to be cool water. Make sure that dissolves. Otherwise, if you use warm water, the cornstarch won't dissolve. It'll just become a gunky mass. So make sure that cornstarch is dissolved. Pouring it into the sauce. Until it's thickened and bubbly. And we're gonna add our meat back in along with any juices. And then cook this until the meat is cooked through. It'll probably take another minute or so. Oh my goodness. Does that look good or what? Yeah, it looks and smells amazing. All right, look at how much food you get, guys. This is probably at least double what you would get in the restaurants. And you know exactly what went into that dish. Yeah, maybe even like three times as much as you would get in a restaurant. Gotta put down Stevie. Are you all ready for? Oh yeah. This is the taste. Now look at this guys, there is a lot of food here. And uh, as Flo has mentioned several times, you're not gonna get this volume of food in the restaurant for even whatever inflationary pricing that we're facing nowadays. Yeah, the sauce is clinging onto all the food so nicely. All right. Mmm, the beef. Wow, that hanger steak is so soft. The texture is so good. And the taste from the marinade, it wasn't sitting in it for very long. Very nice. Peppers have a nice crunch, but not too crunchy. Cooked just the way I like it. You guys gotta do this. Awesome, thanks dude. Mm -hmm. Did you see how easy that was? So eat well, save money, check out my other quick and easy recipes down below. I'll see you there.